Hi creators, if you're watching this video, it means you're doing the work, bringing your vision to life, and it's time to take that next leap. Monetization. We're going to cover a lot in this video, but it all comes down to understanding how to monetize your world through in-world purchases, bonus opportunities, milestone rewards, and competitions. You'll also learn how to join the Meta Horizon Creator Program, or MHCP. Being a member of the MHCP is a requirement to access these and other monetization opportunities, such as selling avatar clothing. We won't cover that in this video, but you can learn more about it in the link in the description. Let's start where every monetization journey begins, in-world purchases. An in-world purchase, or IWP, lets visitors buy digital items you've created for use in your world. You design the item, set the price, and define how it works while visitors get to enjoy the unique features and effects you've created. There are two types of in-world purchases, consumables and durables. Let's cover each type. First, consumables. Here's what you need to know. Consumables are a one-time use item that can be consumed immediately at the time of purchase or added to the player's inventory for later activation. Once consumed, the players have to purchase the item again to use it. Consumable items can be sold individually or in packs of the same item. Packs serve two key purposes, offering bulk discounts to reward larger purchases and streamlining the shopping experience by reducing the number of separate transactions needed. Some example of consumables are power-ups, which include super jumps and speed boost, purchasing in-game tokens, such as coins or gems, or clues to solve puzzles. Consumables are temporary, but there's another important type of in-world purchase, durables, and the name says it all. Durables are one-time purchase only. Durables are items purchased once and added to the player's inventory to be used now and in the future. These can be attached to physical assets like weapons or serve as an entitlement tracker like access to a VIP area. Durable items are added to the player's inventory. Durables that are commonly used in worlds are weapons, special vehicles, VIP passes, badges, and titles such as supporter or verified game level access like providing a new puzzle pack and much more. In-world purchases offer more options for visitors to choose how they want to engage and invest their time, or meta credits, into your experience. In-world purchases can be set up through the desktop editor. We have provided a link to our detailed tutorial in the description below, where we break down each step with examples and practical tips. Before we begin, here are two important tips to remember. Once you've created an IWP item, you can only modify its price. The name, description, and item type can't be changed, so plan these carefully from the start. You can remove an item from your world, but only if it's never been purchased. These apply to both test purchases and real transactions. Let's begin adding IWP items to a world. Open the world's desktop editor, and from edit mode of the world, open the creator user interface, CUI, and navigate to the systems, and then select commerce from the top down menu. Click on Create In-World Item. All IWP types require the following information. Name and description. This is the information displayed on the purchase panel and inventory when applicable. Sell price. Item prices may be set within the range of 25 to 20,000 credits. Item type. You can choose between durables and consumables. Durables is the default option when creating a new item. The selection of an asset is optional. Consumable items can be added to the player's inventory or to activate as soon as the purchase is complete by toggling the Auto Use option. Once configured, the item can be placed in the world for purchase. Go to the menu, select Build, then select Gizmos. Gizmos are mechanisms where visitors can interact, see the purchase panel for an item, and make a purchase. Drop the gizmo where you want the visitor to interact with the item. With the gizmo selected, then open the gizmo configure page and adjust the fields accordingly. Select an existing item from the drop-down menu. Customize the position you want to purchase dialog to appear. The purchase dialog has two display options. It can either follow the visitor's view in a fixed position, or you can customize it to appear wherever you place the gizmo. The UI property determines how the visitor will interact with the gizmo. The trigger, the IWP is an invisible volumetric area. This is useful for customizing the look and feel of the purchase area. VR visitors have to physically enter the trigger area with their avatar to initiate the purchase. Cross screen visitors will see an interactive icon. The button. This displays the cost of the item. The button in the panel will show up when they click it with the raycast. The icon. 
a small meta credit icon will be displayed and it behaves similar to a button. Now that you've seen the basic process, head over to our detailed tutorial. You'll find the link in the description below, where we break down each step with examples and additional tips. Let's move from setup to strategy. Let's discuss the three strategies to consider when creating your in-world purchases. First strategy, freshness. Aim to refresh or launch new IWPs monthly to create hooks for re-engagement in your worlds. Second strategy, mix. Introduce a diverse mix of IWPs to give your visitors more options to choose from. Consider offering multiple options of each type of IWP to meet different visitors' interests. Third strategy, relevancy. Consider how digital goods could be integrated into the core mechanic of your world. For example, time-saving boosts to past levels, or sword tiers for PvP fighting. Once you've done the work of keeping your in-world purchases fresh, diverse, and relevant, it's time to set a pricing strategy. You can price your items in meta credits from just 25 credits all the way to 20,000, giving you a lot of granularity and control to meet different visitors' demands in your world. Once you've started selling IWPs, you can check the developer dashboard to analyze the performance of your in-world purchases and optimize your offerings. Managing the price of an item in the world's desktop editor can be done in a few simple steps. Access the Commerce option under the Systems menu. Hover over the IWP item that you want to reprice and click on the tag icon to access the Edit In-World Item Price UI. Enter the new price value between 25 and 20,000. Click Save. For a detailed walkthrough of this process, refer to our written and video tutorial linked in the description below. Let's explore the analytics available on the developer dashboard that help you track your in-world purchase performance. In-world purchase, these are reports related to IWP items. Sales tracking, a summarized view of the total approximate earnings by IWP item. Item management, a detailed list of all the IWP items that you have configured, including thumbnail, name, SKU name, type, world, and current price. The SKU name is the ID that you would use in scripts to reference these items. The link to the developer dashboard can be found in the description. We have some best practices to share on what works and doesn't work when it comes to pricing your IWPs in meta credits. Let's get into it. Price range. Consider offering items across different price ranges to accommodate various visitor preferences. User journey. Align pricing with the user journey with introductory items potentially positioned at entry level price points in order to retain them and keep them engaged longer. Price point anchors. Strategic pricing structures can include premium offerings alongside standard items to provide choice and value options. For example, a more expensive item might be useful to include even if most players don't purchase it. Price variety. Include some low-level or oddly priced items to catch any leftover available credits. We additionally offer bonuses to help reward Meta Horizon Creator Program members' contributions to Horizon. You can earn a bonus from your in-world purchase performance. This bonus is directly correlated to your average number of Meta credits exchanged per monthly visitor and your earnings from your in-world purchases during the bonus period. You can also earn bonuses from eligible time spent on mobile and eligible time spent on headset. These bonuses are based on your percentage contribution to the total eligible time spent across all creator program worlds. Finally, you can earn monthly rewards as you reach certain mobile milestones. These are one-time rewards creators can earn as they grow their mobile engagement. For more information about bonuses, follow the link provided in the description. We also host competitions for the creator community throughout the year with huge cash prizes. Ready to start monetizing your world? It's simple to begin. First, set up your account and download the world's desktop editor. Second, sign up for the Meta Horizon Creator Program to access all these monetization opportunities. You must be a member of the MHCP to access IWPs, bonuses, and competitions. Check the description for direct links to the world's desktop editor and to join the MHCP. Time to turn your creativity into opportunity. I'm excited to see all your creations in Horizon. I'll see you there.